Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here at RSNA 2024, and we are in the booth of Gassund AI with Ennis Hosgore. Ennis, thanks for being with us again. Thank you for having me, Brian. Yeah, so we talked uh, at ECR last, and but maybe you can remind our audience a little bit about what Gassund does. Yeah, absolutely. We are on a mission to transform medical AI into a utility, and we are doing all the boring stuff you know, around plumbing. You know, to ensure that AI is indeed trustworthy for all stakeholders. But you know, what does that mean today on an on operation level? We run clinical validation studies for AI companies okay. that seek regulatory clearance, particularly with the FDA. And, and that's really important because there's been a lot of concern about AI and generalizability and what we're seeing with AI and how it's performing. So you kind of help AI developers do that? Absolutely, and, and you see in the past 12, uh, 18 months in particular, we've seen many regulatory tailwinds that are you know, raising the bar on AI trustworthiness. Because you know, many of these organizations on the floor today, you'll see you know, they focus on the FDA side of the equation, but there are other agencies like you know, ONC or, or you know, OCR that are introducing new rules to ensure the entire life cycle of AI models are indeed safe, effective, and equitable, not just you know, focusing on a specific FDA clearance. Yeah. Now, we talked at uh, ECR in Vienna earlier this year. What's happened with the company since then? Yeah, so um, uh, our, our customers are now uh, coming us uh, with uh, additional demands around uh, AI certification, uh, because as I alluded to earlier with, the, uh, with these different regulatory agencies introducing new rules and regulations around not just the you know, uh, FDA clearance, but also you know, how do you monitor it? How do you make sure that the AI development has been you know, conducted indeed in a compliant and safe and effective fashion? So they're coming to us with uh, model updates. You know, as you may have heard, you know, predetermined change control plan, PCCP. You know, people are trying to you know, update their models in a compliant fashion. So the validation need never really goes away. So they come to us with you know, new model updates and you know, new validation needs, and then also help them with, with post-market surveillance, as I alluded to earlier. And, you know, we, on Imaging Wire, we covered the, the meeting of the FDA's Digital Health Advisory Committee a, a couple weeks ago, and it sounds like there could be a lot of changes in the way AI is being regulated. Absolutely. You know, we, we've already seen quite a, quite a bit of changes in the last, you know, 12 months. But with the new administration, we can expect even more. But fundamentally, uh, we still see the need for guardrails and, and transparency, because without that, there's no adoption. So we're not just following regulation for the sake of regulation, but how do you make sure that you can promote AI and to, to facilitate end user adoption, in this case, physicians? Yeah, very good. Now, uh, we're here at RSNA 2024. What are you highlighting here? Uh, what are we highlighting here? You know, as I said, uh, what we see it right now is you know th there's a growing number of stakeholders involved. You know, we see coalitions that are trying to introduce different standards and certifications, and we're helping them. We're we're positioning ourselves as a you know technology partner to these coalitions that are trying to build certifications and standards like Chai or Coalition for Health AI that you may have heard of. And and there's also new rules that are you know going above and beyond the FDA side of the equation. And how do you monitor this? Because you know now for the first time you know looking at the you know Affordable Care Act 15. 57, the section 1557. Now, end users of AI are you know, accountable for the AI they use. In other words, you know, when you look at Office of Civil Rights applying, you know, 1557, they say, you know, um, healthcare providers who use AI will have to establish compliance programs to make sure the AI they use is indeed safe and effective and do, does not discriminate against certain patient groups. So we're helping them with, you know, their technology needs because, you know, ultimately this uh, this is an infrastructure problem, and without the right infrastructure set up with you know, manufacturers, healthcare providers, regulatory bodies, uh, we have a long way to go. Yeah. What, what can we expect to see from Gasund AI in uh, 2025? More collaborations with other, you know, uh, you know more traditional stakeholders. Um, we are growing our, you know, uh, customer base on the pharma side. As we have seen, you know, pharma is definitely, you know, uh, developing a lot more AI than they used to. So we, we have a growing customer base on, on the pharma life science equation. But we, we are preparing for some announcements there. And then we also, you know, trying to uh, promote different uh, collaborations on the scientific level. Uh, as these new standards and certification efforts are maturing, you know, we need better tools to facilitate those scientific discussions because how do you evaluate AI? That's still an you know, uh, up-and-coming conversation. And many, you know, and many different groups and many different end users have a different perspective. So as these you know, uh, perspectives converge, we need better tools. That, 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 therefore, you know, a few weeks ago, we open-sourced our AI validation library to you know, help you know, the, community, the open source community contribute their you know, uh, definitions of AI evaluation and benefit from one another. And, and this is akin to what, what Epic did with their seismometer you know, library you know, also earlier this summer. And uh, so yeah, it's 
gets more, you know, uh, uh, rigor, more guardrails, more monitoring, more evidence, and only to facilitate the safe adoption and the use of AI. And, and this is what, uh, more to come in, in, uh, in 2025. All right. Very good. A lot to watch. Well, Enes Hasgor of Gasund AI, thanks for being with us again. Thank you for having me, Brian. Signing off from Chicago, my name is Brian Casey of the Imaging Wire. <laughs>